welcome back to my channel. So last week I shared what I carry in my carry-on luggage and backpack. And as a continuation of this capsule collection, um, today I'm gonna be sharing what I carry in my travel makeup bag. Just in case you missed last week's video, um, I will link the video right up here. And if you did watch that one, I showed you guys the travel makeup bag that I carried with me on my recent trip to New York. That bag was a little bit too big for me. Like, I can actually fit everything in my vanity into that bag and that was just way too unnecessary. It took up a lot of room because I like to carry my makeup with me. I don't like to check it in just in case. Um, I don't want to risk losing it. That bag just took up so much space in my carry-on and honestly, I didn't even end up using all of the products that I had in there. So for this video, I actually am going to show you what I should have packed the last time I went to the States. And this is the makeup bag that I should have packed. <laughs> I got this bag off of Amazon.com and I remember it had really good reviews and I just needed a simple makeup bag and I actually like that there's zero branding on it. So if I'm remembering correctly, this bag is just called a brush bag because it has a ton of slots for brushes and there's also a like mesh compartment in the middle. But to be honest, um, there was only one face brush that I used during the two weeks that I was in the States. So I actually only packed one face brush and this is just a really really old blush brush and this is from Clinique it's nothing special it's just it works so the little mesh pocket in the center of this brush bag actually detaches little buttons you can just snap on but I also have my eyelash curler it didn't really fit in the mesh bag so it's just kind of sitting in here this is the Surat Beauty eyelash curler it's the only one that I've been using since I got it back in November and I absolutely love this eyelash curler. So next I have my eyebrow pencil which is my Shu Mira hard formula and then I have a spoolie to brush out my brows. Then I just have a simple all over shadow brush and then I have one blending brush. This is the E25 from Sigma. Next I have Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, um, you know that the eyeliner that I swear by is Etude House's Drawing Show Brush Liner, which is pretty much a dupe for Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner. Now, I ran out of that, and my friend Vicky gifted this one to me because she really loves this. It does cost more than my Etude House Drawing Show Brush Liner, but this is a fantastic product and I actually really love this. So thank you so much, Vicky. So I'm gonna introduce the next two products together because they are my favorite combo for my lashes. First up, we have Dr. Mascara Fixer's Volume Up Curl Fix. And this is just an eyelash primer that really holds my curl. And then after that, I like to use my Heroin Make Long and Curl Mascara. These two things have been my go-to for my lashes. I haven't used anything else for my lashes since I've discovered it, so I have to have these. Then I have my eyeshadow primer. This is Proof 10 by Etude House. I keep my eyes pretty simple, and so there's no need for me to carry a bunch of eyeshadow palettes around. So the only thing that I would actually um, want with me is this Bobbi Brown palette. This is the Telluride Eye Palette and it has all the colors that I would ever need, especially for an everyday look. And even if I wanted to um, go a little bit intense, there are darker colors in here. Next, I have tweezers, and I believe these are a really old pair from Revlon. So the only thing that I need to put on my face makeup is my beauty blender. And right now it's actually drying on my desk, which is why it's not in here. But otherwise, um, a dry beauty blender would sit right in here and then I would just have it tucked away in this mesh bag. Next is my Everything Tinted Moisturizer Oil Free from Honest Beauty. And I have been absolutely loving this product so much. So I actually got this um, during my time in the States and my skin was not doing well at all. I had really painful like cystic acne and the Makeup Forever Ultra HD which is another foundation that I like um, it was a little bit, it wasn't moisturizing enough for my skin and it was just hugging all of the dry patches so once I started using the Honest Beauty I have not looked back. 
So even though this is called a tinted moisturizer, I feel like this provides medium to almost full coverage. I guess if you really wanted to layer it on. And for me, I think I would need to set it with a powder maybe in the summer, but because I have more combination, drier, sensitive skin, this is so perfect for me right now. And I have not reached for my makeup forever in a long time. The only color that I use on my face regularly is Honest Beauty's um, Luminizing Powder in Dusk Reflection. And this kind of works like a bronzer. I mean, it's not super, super dark, very, very subtle. And I just put a little bit on my cheeks just to give it some color. This is the only thing that I use on my face every day with this brush. Now, if I wanted to add some blush to my cheeks, the one that I'm currently using is from Honest Beauty. This is um, the Cream Blush in Truly Exciting. This is really a pretty color, but the reason I haven't been wearing blush every single day is because around my cheeks, that's where I have my hyperpigmentation marks. And because of my breakout in November, I still have marks there and this just kind of accentuates the redness. So until the marks go away, I avoid using blush every single day. Then I have my concealer. I have been really enjoying um, Urban Decay's Naked Skin Concealer for both my under eyes as well as my blemishes. So this is in here. I have my new favorite lip balm, which is the NUX Rev de Miel. And this guy is super moisturizing. I've talked about it in one of my morning chats. And I've never felt a balm with this kind of texture. And it's nice because it's really matte. And so if I wanted to pop on a color on top, I don't have to worry about it being too glossy. This is my holy grail lip product. Like this is going to be a lifetime purchase. And this is the Dior Lip Glow in Coral. I mean, I like both of them. I like the original pink one and the coral one. And even though it looks really scary in the tube, um, I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now. It just kind of enhances my natural lip color with like the tiniest bit of a tint. You can barely see that. But I just, I love this. And this is an everyday um, color for me. But if I wanted a bolder lip, my other favorite is the NARS Cruella Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. It is a deeper red, but it also reminds me of wine, but it's not too purple. So oh, I love this. And even though this is matte, it's, it is not drying on my lips at all. So that's it guys. I mean, I do have one or two other lip products that I really like that I would carry in my little everyday makeup pouch, not just for travel. So I have those options there. So if I could have repacked for my last trip, I would pack exactly all the things that I showed you today. And I will be referencing this video for my future trips so that I'm not lugging around unnecessary things. I hope this video inspires you guys to really pack just the things that you need, like the bare necessities. Don't make the mistake that I did of bringing a ton of just-in-case items that you'll never use. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know below in the comment section what you would like to see next in my little capsule collection series. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!